Okay guys, quick little video project here. Uh, this is not my truck. This is actually my father's 2008 Dodge Ram 1500. It has the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. The problem that he's having is that the engine dies. It stalls. The only thing that's really consistent is that it stalls during deceleration. No other parameters seem to make a difference whether the engine's cold, whether the engine's at operating temperature, uh, what the outside air temperature is. None of that seems to really make a difference. So we're going to try and fix the problem. I've done some research online. There seems to be quite a few remedies and so we're going to run them down uh, one by one. But in this video, all we're going to take care of is we're going to clean the throttle body on this truck. So I spent about half an hour, I put my GoPro inside, pointed it at the dash, driving around the neighborhood, trying to get the truck to recreate the problem so that I could capture it on video. It didn't happen. And so uh, I got to the point I was running out of daylight and I needed to come back here and get the problem fixed or at least try and fix it. So this should be a fairly simple project. We only need a couple tools. First thing that I've already done is I disconnected the negative side of the battery and just moved the cable out of the way. After that, I'm, we're going to come in here, remove the air box, the tube, uh, the air box that, that is around the throttle body, and then we'll be able to get at the throttle body, pull that off, and then we can clean it. So let's get started. So after we disconnect the negative side of the battery, we're gonna take the air box assembly off, the top of the air box and the tube here. First thing to pull off, this is the fresh air side of the crankcase ventilation system. So we just pull that off, it's real easy, set it aside. And then on the lid for the air box, the air filter box, we've got four little clips here. And all they do is they just pop loose like that. Kind of lift up a little bit and push it towards the engine away from you and then straight up and now that's loose. So now we gotta get this tube loose from that other air box. So we just have this one little band clamp to loosen up. Just a simple flat bladed screwdriver. Give it a little wiggle. And there we go. If you needed to change your air filter, now's a good time to do it. This one's still in pretty good shape so we're gonna leave it. And the rest of this air filter housing, it could just stay where, right where it is. It's not going to hurt anything uh, by leaving it in place. So the next thing to do is remove this plug for the intake air temperature sensor. It's easy. Just push on the gray part on this side. And it just comes unplugged like that. Next is to remove two 10 millimeter bolts. There's one here behind the alternator. And the other one is here behind the engine oil filler cap. When those two bolts are loose, we can just lean in here, you have a little lift up and we can wiggle out this little intake air plenum and expose the, the throttle body. So on the throttle body, we have one electrical connection here. You just pinch down on it and get in there. Just pry it loose. We'll set this off to the side. After the electrical connector is loose, using an eight millimeter socket, we'll take out these four bolts. There we go. So inside the air intake plenum right here, there's some crud in there. In fact, see it's it's wet it's like motor oil so the front side of the throttle body actually looked pretty clean but let me get, take you over to the workbench and show you the back side okay so here's the front side of the throttle body this would be uh, fresh air from the air filter going into the engine in this manner like that so from the front it doesn't look too bad but you can look at the edges inside there and you can see some carbon buildup but not bad let me flip this over and you can see just how nasty that is. I even scratched it there with a little bolt. Really, really thick. So let me get the throttle body cleaner and see if that uh, 
takes care of this problem. Just using some of this throttle body and air intake cleaner. So let's see if it works. Yeah, it's working. It's cleaning up pretty nicely. Some of this stuff is right in here. It's actually kind of caked on pretty strong, so I'm going to use this old toothbrush. Seems to be doing it. Yeah. So we'll just keep doing this till we get this thing all clean and break my toothbrush. It's all right, still works. All right, so I've spent, I don't know, about 15 or 20 minutes working on this. Here's the front side. It was always pretty darn clean. You can see it's just a little bit cleaner. And then here's the back side. This is towards the intake manifold. All that is nice and clean. It was really caked up here on the, uh, on the sides. Came off the back of the butterfly valve pretty easily, but down here I had to scrub on it some. So that's pretty cleaned up. I'm gonna use this rag, and you can see this stuff's actually pretty caustic. Took some paint off my table here. But I'm gonna wet down this rag and reach in that intake manifold as far as I can, clean that, some of that out uh, before I go put this back on. I double check, make sure that I'm not going to have any any leaks, any vacuum leaks. Uh, reconnected the negative terminal on the battery, and now we just got to turn it on, see what happens. So let's do that real quick. So it's dirty as all hell under here, but it started right up. It, you know, of course, had to relearn itself a little bit because we did disconnect the battery. But other than that, it's idled down. It does seem to be idling a little bit smoother. And we'll just have to wait and see. We've got to put some miles on it uh, to see if that stalling and that hesitation issue uh, remains or if it clears up. So we'll bring you back. We'll go put some miles on the truck and then we'll bring you back. So I just wanted to bring you back for just a real quick, real simple update. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I cleaned the throttle body and my father's put about a little over 100 miles on the truck. And it's not having any more issues. It doesn't stall anymore. There's no hesitation during acceleration. Uh, it just seems to run a lot better. So I just wanted to give you that quick little update and just say thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.